whole thing. So SO4, and its case p value is 1.08 times 10 to the power of negative 10. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah. Cool. Um, now, we've been told that, wait, we could literally call that We could literally just say 0 0.001 is equal to, is the amount of barium sulfate or grams that has been added to, oh, they've been nice. They've said a litre of water, so we can literally forget about it. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah. Perfect. So the idea is we need to find the precipitate or the p-value. So, how are we going to do that? Uh, so now, we have to get out, make our equation. Yeah, good. So What's we have be our our barium, uh, which is barium is two plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, and then we have SO4, SO4 is, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's two minus. Okay, you've mm -hmm. done that. Um, yeah, they're both um, nice and nice they're and, already... Yeah, balanced. Yeah, balanced, yes. Perfect. There. Okay, what's our next and step? Now we have uh, S and S. We both have S's. No, stop. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Remember, mm. this is to do with precipitate, having a precipitate. So oh. we, oh wait, don't worry. Yep, S value, yep. I was just thinking about the next question where you have two different types of solutions coming together. You need to work out their concentrations. But yep, I agree. So what's our BA value? Now we have our, um, yes, so B is both our S, so then we have, um, our 1.08 uh, times the negative 10 is equal to S squared. Mm, wait a minute, give me two seconds. Is that how you do this? Or it's, it's not different. Mm, I'm just thinking about it. Give me three seconds. I want to give you the correct answer, so I'll give me three seconds worth of going to think about it. Okay, quick, give me a second. I'm going to attempt to work it out. No, we don't need to work out the... Mm, we've got this already. Um, don't we have to work out... Because we're working out our... Uh, predict whether the pre precipitate... Oh, we're predicting whether precipitate will form. Mm -hmm. um, and usually that's if um, you've got the QSP, so the precipitate being bigger, the precipitate value being greater than the case P value. Yes, okay. Okay, so nice. find yep. A... yep, so got it. So what we're going to do is, I agree with you, what we're going to do... We need to find our QSP. Yep, so that's um, what we're going to do. We're going to do S times S. Would you agree that's going to give us S squared? Yeah. Perfect. And that is going to equal to a solution. So 0 0.001 times squared is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which equals to 1 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, is that greater than our KSP value? Um, so did you, you squared it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because remember we've got S squared. S times S is S squared. So our S value is this. Yeah. Is equal to, okay, is it larger than, greater than, or equal to that? Yeah. It is so, larger, yes. Perfect. It is larger, so a precipitate will form, is that right? Yeah. 
Correct. Okay. Yeah, so we say yes, precipitate will form. Mm -hmm. Done. So just to not confuse you, let's just quickly go through again. We're going to find our S value. We found that this is S squared, right? Because it's S times S. And what we've done, we know that this is S here. I don't know if you're following what I'm writing. Yep. Yep. So we're going to do 0 0.001 squared, right? That's going to give us a solution. And then we're going to compare it to the KSP value that we got given above. Yep. Perfect. Make sense? Yep. Makes Perfect. Sense.